time to get our lives together. <sighs> Hi friends, welcome back. Man, we've got a lot going on in the news, don't we? I hope you're doing well, I hope we're safe, I hope we're staying sane. Uh, I'm still working on that. I have my workout clothes because I packed all my clothes because I'm actually moving next week. Yay, oh my gosh, I can't wait for you to see this house. It's amazing. I still live in LA, yes. But anyways, that's not why you're here. So, I need to talk about what you need to know before becoming a software engineer. I'm seeing so many people deciding to go into tech because it pays really well, but I think it's really understated some of the things that you have to deal with as a software engineer. Now, I'm only gonna talk about five of them. There are plenty. Again, the there's so many more, there's so many pros, but I'm just talking about the things that you just really need to know. But before we begin, if you are new here, my name is Benda Ndur. I am a software engineer with a bachelor's of science in computer science, two minors in math and Africana studies, and I'm also currently in Los Angeles. That sounds like I have my life together, but I absolutely do not. And that's why I have this channel, because I need to get myself together and I'm hoping that I can help you along the way. So if that interests you, then keep on watching. Me. I'm gonna do it. Bro, it's hot. It's hot in LA. Oh my god. Like, what? what is it right now? 91 degrees? Bro, number one, you're going to be frustrated 75% of the time. I need you to really absorb that. Let's say you are working eight hours a day. You're going to be frustrated 75% of those eight hours, especially if you are just starting out in the field. Trying to figure out why this is not working. Trying to debug this code trying to learn something new, trying to get these tests to pass. There are so many things that are going to frustrate the living daylights out of you, especially in the beginning. It's not all like, ooh, created something magical. It's not all that. There are so many steps to get there that people do not see. It's kind of like when you post a before after picture of like, somebody's workout transformation. I don't know why that comes up in my head, maybe because I'm wearing workout clothes, but you're not seeing the in-between of the struggles that person had to do to get to that after image. And that's the exact same thing. If we finally commit and push up your code. Woo, let me finish this because I'm about to, look, I'm about to perish. Number two, do not go in with an ego because you are going to be humble so fast. Now I'm talking specifically about someone who hasn't gotten their first job yet. So if you are a college student or you are in a boot camp or you are learning your, your self teaching, you think that you know everything. And I mean that in the nicest possible way. I mean that as someone who went who has someone who has been through the same exact thing. You feel like, oh wow, like I've worked on this project, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I can do this, I can do all these cool amazing things, which is true. Definitely true. But Sometimes that will lead you to come into a new job with arrogance. You don't want to do that. You want to go in with the mentality of you want to learn as much as you can. Because once you get your first job, you're going to look back in six months, not even six months, like three months. You're going to look back and just be like, wow, that was nothing. And I mean that in the sense of you're going to look back and see just how much you've grown, but you're not going to grow if you go in thinking you already know everything when you definitely do not. You don't really learn how to code, like learn how to code until you get your first job because you're going to see things that you didn't even think were possible. You're going to meet so many people who know so much, who can give you so much knowledge you're gonna see all these resources that you're able to have, especially because your company is going to pay for it now. There's just so many cool things that you're going to be exposed to when you get your first job. So do not limit yourself by going in and just shutting it completely out and just thinking, I already know what I need to do because I'm telling you, when you commit that code with that mentality and your peers are talking about this is trash, you're gonna get humbled also. To be fair, I am speaking as a black woman, but I'm pretty sure everybody can relate to this. You're going to meet some douchebags. I'm just say I'm gonna just say it. You're gonna meet some douchebags. And I know there are douchebags in every field, but whew, the ones in computer science are 
Well, if you code, I guarantee you, you know what I'm talking about. If you're offended, I'm talking about you. Another thing that you should know, and this is something that I still struggle with all the time. That's why I'm like leaning, leaning forward. You need to have soft skin. Coding is creating. You're creating something. You are finding a solution to a problem. And there's a little piece of you that goes in there when you are creating and finding solutions. It can be tough when you push up code and your peers or your um, your supervisor is looking at through it and they're just writing like comments of things that you need to change. That can be kind of a, a bruise a little bit, but do not see it as what you did wrong. See it as what you can improve. Because I promise you, code review is so important. That is the fastest way for you to learn. Because someone who has a different perspective on a solution can offer you insight that you would have never thought of. And now you have that in your arsenal. At least that's what I tell myself. Okay, the final thing I'm going to bring up um, is something that I think is really, really understated. Programming interviews are a nightmare. I know computer science students know this because it's literally beaten to our heads by everybody since like freshman year, but in case you are coming into this like self-taught or you don't know anything about programming or the programming world that just fascinates you and you're trying to get into it, it's not like a lot of my friends will every time I used to tell them about like how nervous I am for an interview and they're like in the business. They think that all interviews are the same. They're not the same. Non-STEM interviews care more about um, the way you, how you speak, what you're presenting, your personality, your credentials. STEM interviews, specifically, I can only speak from specifically programming interviews, they care about what you can do. So you can graduate from your boot camp, you can graduate from college, you can do all these things, have all these degrees, this and that, but if you can't pass that coding interview, <laughs> you don't got a job. I don't mean that to scare anybody, I just really want to emphasize that for people who are just jumping into the tech field. It kind of feels like you're taking like an entrance exam into like an Ivy League field. It not only is the anxiety there because there are people who are watching you seeing how you're thinking or you have to be thinking out loud when you're when you're trying to solve a solution and things like that but even before you get the interview a lot of companies do this thing called coding challenges well those well there's ugh, my mouth is dry it's ramadan so i can't drink any water but anyways they will send you a coding challenge and it'll be like two or three questions where you have to have a solution where you have to write a solution for these three questions. Sometimes they can be really hard. I, like I said, a lot of those questions come from the hard levels of lead code and hacker rank. So like I always say, please do lead code and hacker rank. Now I am very, I'm very lucky that the first interview I did, I got the job. I am very thankful because I don't think I can go back through that anxiety again. I just, I'm not built for it. I hope this didn't come off like a tacky or discouraging i just really want to give out the information that i wish i knew when i was on my journey to becoming a programmer so i really hope that you find this useful it's not all glamour and there's a reason why like i need to emphasize this to people there's a reason why programmers get paid the way they do it's not an easy job it is an interesting job it is rewarding and you are never bored which is very important but it is by no means an easy career. I'll talk about the pros in a different video. But for now, I need to get out of this room. I hope you are safe, doing well. I rarely upload, which I'm gonna be changing once I get into my new house. Because it's gonna be pretty and big, and I'll be doing so much more day in the lives. It's gonna be so fun. So, I hope you're doing well, friend. I hope you're staying safe. You're staying mentally healthy. Very important right now. Very important. <laughs> And I will see you in the next video, friend. Bye. <gasps>